हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू ई से अकेडमी In this lecture, let us understand MOSFET internal capacitances. If we consider a MOSFET, it can have two type of capacitances. First one is external capacitance, and second one is internal capacitance. In external capacitance, there are two types: coupling capacitor and bypass capacitor. In case of internal capacitance, there are two types: gate capacitance. and junction capacitance in this lecture let us understand about gate capacitance and junction capacitance first let us understand gate capacitance gate capacitance is also known as built in capacitances if we consider the mosfet mosfet consists of three terminals gate drain and source along with this mosfet will be having one more region which is known as body now there will be junctions that are formed between gate and drain and gate and source and also there will be a junction that will be formed between gate and body so due to these junctions three capacitances will be produced which is cgd which is gate and drain capacitance cgs which is gate to source capacitance and cgb which is gate to body capacitance so these capacitances are known as gate capacitance or oxide capacitance so cgd is gate to drain capacitance cgs is gate to source capacitance cgb is gate to body capacitance these capacitances are known as gate capacitance or oxide capacitance here gate capacitance will be directly proportional to width and length of the device so we can write cg is equal to cox into wl so the capacitance of any storage device will be directly proportional to width and length of the device so here w and l specifies the width and length of the device so here cox is oxide capacitance now when we consider a mosfet a mosfet can operate in three regions cutoff region active region and saturation region now let us see the gate capacitance in these regions of operation first let us consider the cutoff region in cutoff region the mosfet will be off so that's why the junction across gate and drain and gate and source will be reverse bias so the capacitances cgd will be equal to 0 and cgs will be equal to 0 in cutoff region the junction between the gate and body will be forward bias that's why we'll get the capacitance cgb that will be equal to the same capacitance value as cg so it will be equal to cox into wl so cgb will be equal to cox wl now let us consider the active region in active region the junction between gate and drain and gate and source will be forward bias and the junction between gate and body will be reverse bias so the capacitance cgb will be zero and we'll get capacitance across gate and source and gate and drain so active region will be opposite of cutoff region that's why here cgb will be zero and you will get capacitance across cgd as well as cgs so this capacitance will be equally distributed across cgd and cgs that's why we'll get 1 by 2 cox wl across gate and drain and 1 by 2 cox wl across gate and source 
the next region of operation is saturation region in saturation region you need to remember that the channel depth is more or it will be maximum at source and it will be zero across the drain that's why the capacitance cgb will be equal to zero and cgd will also be equal to zero and we'll get maximum capacitance across cgs so we can say we'll be having more than 60 percent of capacitance across gate and source junction that's why we can take this as 2 by 3 COX W L. So maximum capacitance will be across gate and source. So it will be more than 60% of this capacitance will appear across gate and source. That's why we'll take 2 by 3 COX W L. So other two capacitance will be zero in saturation region. Now let us understand junction capacitance. In junction capacitance, there are two types of capacitance. The junction between drain and substrate and the junction between source and substrate. So we will have junction between drain substrate that can be represented as CDB and we have junction between source and substrate which is CSB. CDB can be represented as CDB naught divided by square root of 1 plus VDB divided by V naught and CSB can be represented as CSB naught divided by square root of 1 plus VSB divided by V naught. Here CDB naught is capacitance at VDB is equal to 0 and CSB naught is capacitance at VSB is equal to 0 and V naught is junction built in potential which will be around 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 volts. This is about MOSFET internal capacitance. Hope you have understood the topic. Thank you.